What's up, what's up? It's Belle here, Body Reflection Fitness, Power Up. So today's Sunday, y'all. I love Sundays because I get to praise and worship my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, you don't even understand how I feel every single time I go to church or I pray, I get on my knees. It's just one of the most beautiful things in the whole entire world, okay? But anyway, today we're coming because I am bringing you a recipe. Okay, so it's going to be a salmon with some green beans, with some lemon zest, yes, and some, so we got the salmon, we got the lemon zest, we've got the onions, right? We're going to play with the onions, the lemons, the lemon zest. The salmon. If you want to see the salmon, I'm coming back with the salmon. Then we're um, gonna do the just. I'm gonna show you right now. How about I just show you now, okay? I feel good, y'all. My my husband just took my just took the kids um, to the playground so I can you know just kind of be by myself a little bit. Even though I just went to the store and came back and was by myself, so I have a little bit more time to myself. That's so good. So here we go. So I have two fresh salmon portions, okay? So each of these portions are, let's take a look, my friends. They should be, okay, they're 8.74 um, la, 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 the sink, la, 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 okay. So, um, I'm I'm guessing these are eight, ten, these are about twelve ounces each. Okay, yeah, one pound per pound, one dollar, and we're at, looking at eight dollar in total. So, um, yeah, we're looking at about four, four, five, six, seven, eight, about twelve ounces per per fillet. Okay. So, but you can always cut the fillets. You can cook them. This is the great thing about salmon. You can cook them, right? However, everyone, you can zest them. It could be a Sunday where you're just like without the kids. Yeah, you just went and had a beautiful day at church. You're like just having a good day because you were able to go to the grocery store too. And then you get home and then now you know that your husband is taking the kids to the park. And then it's even better because you get to cook all alone. And um, not to, not saying that I don't love my kids, God forbid, Lord Jesus, thank you God for my babies, but you know, ladies, we need some time to ourselves, and whether it be cooking or even cleaning for me, I'm serious, guys, I need to make a blog on my cleaning because I clean so much, and it's just so just like, sin for me, but anyway, back to our fresh salmon, fresh Salmon, this is so good. And look at the back. Yeah, look how look how like they look, right? Yeah, they're like fillets. They're like steaks, y'all. These are like steaks. Mm. Anyway, so I'm gonna make these. I'm gonna cut some some onions. I'm gonna like saute them with some garlic. Okay, and I'm going to run some zest, the lemon through it. Mm, mm, mm. And then I'm going to show you how it's going to look with my green beans. My green beans. Green beans? Yes. Green beans. And the only reason why I bought these, I was like, where are the green beans that I can cook, I can do clean and do all of that myself? I don't mind it. I don't mind cutting the ends and washing them myself and all that, but they didn't have them. But I was like, you know what? It's okay. You know, they're already pre-made, so what? I just add some flavor to it and what? Go from there, right? Yeah. Every now and then we have to make our lives easier, not harder. Which I love sometimes. I love to make my life harder. Every little granule that I can make harder in my life, I will do it. But I saw these green beans, and as much as I wanted to make my life harder, I said, you know what, God? Not today. Thank you, Jesus, for the message. All right. So, voila. Those are my green beans. Um, 
I might throw in some, I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet, but I'll cut back with you on that one. I was thinking maybe some, a little bit of a really thin um, potato type. It's going to be very, very low in cow only because they're, I'll show them to you. Ooh, that was a rolling cabbage. So I like these baby Dutch. Okay, they're, they're baby Dutch. I know everybody's thinking, baby Dutch, like they're potatoes, they're totally starch. Come on, lady. But if you just thin slice them, it's perfect, okay? It's like the perfect blend together of this, what you are looking for, a satisfying menu. It doesn't have to be raw. It doesn't have to be tasteless. It can be enjoyable, okay? Okay, so stay tuned, okay? Love ya. Uh huh. Took me forever to find this, y'all. Seriously. Hold on, I'm turning this shoe down. So what I'm doing is okay. So I've already got the water boiled for my green beans, but I'm not gonna. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do with my green beans is I'm not boiling the green beans. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blanch them. Blanch like. The, um, my favorite comedy, y'all, seriously, is, um, gosh, the Golden Girls. I love the Golden Girls. So when I said, I'm going to blanch the green beans, I just automatically thought, Golden Girls. Whatever. Anyway, so I'm, like, kind of fixing this, uh, cookie, sh it's a cookie sheet, big sheet, whatever you want to call it. I'm fixing to open up my salmon pot, my salmon, um, I don't even want to call them patties. I want to call them, okay, so they're called portions. Fresh formed Atlantic salmon portions. Let's say it together. Fresh formed Atlantic salmon portion. Ooh, I didn't know this. Did you know this? It's a product of chili. Ooh la la. A product of chili. We should dance. We should make the chili dance. Hallelujah. I'll just sing my hallelujah song. That's much better. I like it. I like it. It's not going to take very long for these. This is only going to take us like 12, depending on our, um, um, Depending on just like the temperature of the oven. I mean, everybody's oven is different. My oven is like perfect temperature. If I put it on 350, it's going to be 350. If I put it on 250, it's going to be 250. I mean, whatever. If I put it on whatever casserole I'm cooking, it's it's perfect. Mmm, I smell fish. Hold on. So, anyway, so I don't know what your, like, what your oven looks like, but just keep that in mind, okay? Not everybody's oven is the same. But please keep that in the cognitive frame. Okay, so I just put the portions on. I will be pulling out some black pepper. Okay, and I'll do... The higher, the better, because you can see. It's kind of like when you it rains. Let it rain, let it rain. So you don't get like, it's not too close, right? It's not too close. So good with my fingers, y'all. It's not too close. So if you, if you get too, too close to it, it's like you got to go in there and peek. No, get it high and let it rain, okay? And do it like this with your fingers. Brrr. I played piano for since I was six. And the saxophone. Oh my gosh, guys. I dreamt of playing the saxophone last night. But it wasn't me playing the saxophone. Okay, so my sister, Sol, they call her Sol, and they call me Belle because her names are so similar. Um, she played the clarinet and I played the saxophone. So in my dream, she, I was like, felt like she was playing the saxophone. So I was like, what are you doing playing the saxophone? I play the saxophone. And then she's like, I swear it was a brass instrument. And then, so she was like, you know, I'm like, wait a minute, this is like totally mine, it's not yours, but that's not the way you should be thinking, right? Especially when you're a Christian person, okay, whatever, but we're human, right? And this is only a dream, people, it's all in the head. Um, so, 
anyway, she's like, I'm like, you play the clarinet. She's like, this is a clarinet. And then she like pulls up the instrument and it turned from a brass to a clarinet. I'm like, eh. a brass to a wind. All right. Okie dokie dokie dokie. I'm gonna do some of this zest. Zest. Oh, our beautiful lemon. It is so pretty, our lemon. Where are you? Where are you? La 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 la. And you can just use a peeler. You know, a little potato peeler. These are like not even the, the what the old school ones look like. I remember the old school ones. They were totally old school, guys. I know you remember. Like hashtag if you remember. Um, and um, I probably should wash this. I didn't even wash it. Hold on. And then the the, the fish has a lot of fresh water in it because it's. I mean, obviously it's a fish and it comes from the Gulf. So, um, you know. So now we're rocking and rolling with the temperature. We're at a, right now we're at a 350, but I'm gonna put it down to a 250, y'all. I just w really, I wanted to get it spiked as far as like the heat goes. So now I'm gonna go down. Okay, so I'm going down to 250. But it, remember, it's still hot to three, at 350. Okay. Looks good. Okay. And I'm gonna cut it. So I put that just of the lemon on it. It's not that hard. We just zest it, squeeze it after that. I pick like the best. Lemon ever. Like everything's really good right now. We're in the fall season, right? So everything's gonna be super like. And if you don't know, if you don't have a tool to zest, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna uh, show you how you can just slice your beautiful lemons on top it's not a huge thing okay look what i did i just sliced my lemons and i'm gonna throw them on top i'm gonna show you and there's some seeds on there right? those seeds are gonna put more flavor in them too seeds are gonna put more flavor in my salmon I'm fixing to throw them in there. Okay, so look. Bam! Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now water boiling. So guess what happens now? I'm gonna blanch. I'm gonna boil. Then, what? So you know what a blanch is? It's where you boil, and then you. Like totally make them all cold. And then they have to come out with a really good flavor. Okay. And I can eat, I can eat uh, green beans all day long. So, hold on. That's what they look like in the bowl, my children. Okay. All right, so um, I'll be back. As soon as you can see my face. Oh, there I am. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> Hey y'all, okay, so I already cut up this beautiful, beautiful um, potato. And I, I'm gonna put some lemon zest in there as well, okay? And they're so good, y'all, seriously. And they won't take any time at all. So you just throw them in there with your fish or whatever. I don't, just throw them in there with your fish. You don't have to get all crazy because I know how we like it. Okay, you don't add any oil. All you're gonna add is the, the juice 
back of the lemon. Okay, I made a hole in my foil, which means we have to put it this way. Because you don't want a hole. Okay, so these are my potatoes. Squeezy. Squeezy. Okay. Squeezy. Okay. Then I'm going to put some my onion and herb. I'm going to cut up some onion. Super easy. Bam, 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 bam. I'm gonna show it to y'all in a minute. Okay. And then I'll put my pepper. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, you can basically um, put, you know, just about anything that you want in your uh, potato. And we're going to crank. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. Real quick. Boom. Where are you? There you are. There's your potatoes. Hey, but you can do anything. You can do, like, carrot. We're going to have our green beans. They're boiling. They're blanching. We're, or we're fixing to blanch them right now, okay? So here they are, boiling. We got a couple minutes on those. Because there's, there's, it's a big heavy. So they're more, the more the weight, the longer the, the boil slash cold, right? And they're going to be so good. So they won't be so soggy. Like they come in the can or maybe you had them at somewhere and they're just like so soggy. But where you get them at maybe Red Lobster or something, that's going to be the blanche. Or you go in from hot boiling water to a very nice cold, ice cold water. And it like shocks. It shocks the vegetable. And then... It gets that really good crisp to it, and it's just like super amazing. So here are our potatoes. But hey, guys, these are super. They're like this big, super, like my nose. They're so small, and I'm just like, tick, 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 tick. okay. So not a lot, okay, because you're getting a lot of vitamins and minerals in your in your green beans and your salmon, okay. So. Just be careful. I'm on, this is only just for, it's kind of like, just like that dessert, okay? So just really be careful. Okay, you know that you can have your starch, but don't go overboard portion control, okay? Yeah. These go in the oven. And I, I just put them, like, to the side. I just threw them, right? You see how I just threw them to the side? Yay! All right. Okie dokie, my friends. I'll see, we'll see you back in a minute, okay? When everything is kind of said and done. Woo! Can't wait. Hey, so those green beans are so ready. Oh, my gosh. We are like... On a mission here. They are being blanched as we speak. Look at that. Can you see? They're being blanched. All we are doing now is blanching those green beans. They have been boiling. Probably, I want to say... Gosh, I want to say maybe five minutes, six minutes. Okay, but with the blanche, it's going to keep them from getting soggy, okay? I might have probably had them in there a little bit too long because I was doing something. But now they're going to be perfect, okay? All right, we'll get back. Well, I'm still working on everything, okay? Everything's working. So, um, open. Fish. It's looking good. Before we're gonna eat it, though, I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna I'm gonna like saute it real quick. And uh, oh my gosh, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, see you in a minute. Hey, FYI, I'm so weird. 
Um, I'm fixing to um, like transfer the green beans over here to the other side of the sink, right? But of course, I have to lay down a towel, y'all. I'm so finicky. As much as I clean my sink, I have to like lay down a towel, okay? So you'll see in a minute. Okay, you see how I just laid down a towel in my sink? So now I'm fixing to put my trainer. And I am fixing to, I, and I need to hurry with this, okay? With my green beans. And I'm so corporal tunnel with both of my hands, hold on. Okay, there they are. Look how pretty, yay. I think it was a little bit too much longer than I thought, but they're still pretty. They're still, you know, they're not as flimsy as we, I wanted them a little bit harder, but it's all right. I was in the middle of a thousand things, everything for tomorrow, Sunday, but who cares? We're not perfect chefs, right? Anyway, okay, I'll be back. If it ever stops. This is it, guys. Look how beautiful. Love it. 